Tonight, in honor of the upcoming Memorial Day holiday, we're bringing you a story of life after war. For the many veterans here in the New York City area and across the country, the battle isn't necessarily over when they come home. Instead of fighting ISIS or the Taliban in Iraq and Afghanistan, they are now faced with a new enemy, post-traumatic stress disorder. Tonight, we want you to meet one of these veterans with PTSD, which impacts between 11 and 20 percent of veterans who have served in these recent conflicts. Alex Sutton's struggle with the disorder is now the subject of the film Farmer Veteran, which premieres on PBS Independent Lens this Memorial Day. Let's take a quick look. Jesse, I got drugs. They are, oh, they're my happy pills. Are you midday? Yep. They're my I don't kill people pills. No, they're not. Those are the pills that keep you working. Oh. oh. How many different pills do you take? Prazosin, nightmare control. Concerta, these are my energy pills. Oomph to get out of bed and go. Zolpin something or another. Oxycontins. Fluoxetine, these are the ones. These are my antipsychotic pills. How do you feel, in, like, in, in your head? The mental side? Yeah. I feel tranquilized a lot. I mean, that's the best way to say it. I mean, it's better than the alternative. Locking me up someplace. <laughs> or sitting on a water tower with sniper rifle and... Do you really feel like that would be the alternative, knowing yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Joining me now with more on Farmer Veteran is one of the film's directors, Jeremy Lang. Jeremy, nice to have you here with us. Thank you for having me. Let me start off with what you were originally looking to do in this film. I saw that the, your, your first thought mm -hmm. about the story you wanted to tell didn't it be, ended up being the story you actually told. What was the story you thought you were going to tell? So the original premise of the film was we'd learned about Alex Sutton. We thought we'd go out there. He's raising chickens as a, you know, as a as sort of a healing, healing on the farm. And we wanted to make a short doc about how, how agricultural therapy or farming, you know, whichever sort of side you want to be on, could, could bring some, you know, some new purpose and some joy to these guys who have been through a lot of rough things. How did the story change? Alex's sort of situation, his, his, his life was a little more complicated than that. The farming was helping him on a lot of levels, but it was also proving very difficult, as it is. I mean, farming is an incredibly hard job. So we were, we sort of stayed around to keep looking at how the, the farming and being out in nature could really help Alex, but was also, you know, it's a trying thing, and he didn't have a whole lot of support. Sort of how that, that struggle, you know, the, the, the good and the bad sides and the difficulty of farming were or working with his life. I think it's important, and you've mentioned this to me before, it's important that the viewers understand the story you want to tell about Alex, but also understand what the, the vast majority of, of returning veterans, how they're doing. Right. We created this film to, to bring about conversations about what these men and women are going through, the ones who are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress and are coming home, but we don't want to say, like, everybody is like Alex. I think the vast majority of veterans they're healing, you have good days, you have bad days, uh, and that's a really important thing to understand about coming back from post-traumatic stress is it's an incredibly nonlinear process. But that, that Alex's symptoms have stayed around in, this, in some pretty extreme ways longer than, than I'd say the average. What, what symptoms and in what ways? Uncomfortability in large crowds, or the nightmares, or you know, some—it's not paranoia, but like these these ideas of just being sort of constantly uh, hyper vigilant. I think is a good way. Um, that tends to sort of die down over time. And Alex has really good days and really good periods, months even, when he he's he's feeling a lot better. But he can't quite escape a lot of the sort of ghosts that are still around from his experience overseas. Farming was a new experience for him and one he very much loved because of the ability to sort of bring new life to the world after seeing a lot of death. But it's really hard, you know, chickens die, crops fail. When you're dealing with this healing process, you also have to deal with the failures that are inherent in the business. I mean, this is why such a tiny amount of our population are farmers. I think it's less than 1% at this point. Very similar to less than 1% serves in the military. So, I mean, you have these correlations, That's but they're both incredibly hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is a, a compelling, thought-provoking film. Jeremy, Thank you. Very well done. Uh, we appreciate your spending some time talking with us. And Absolutely. hope that Alex is doing well also. Uh, he, he's doing okay. That's Thank good, you. Good to hear. Good to hear. Thank you. And you be well.
A reminder for you, those of you watching at home, Farmer Veteran premieres on Independent Lens this Memorial Day at 10 p.m. For more on the film, head over to our website at metrofocus.org.